it's an old door that just literally opens up to the outside like and it's all glass but yeah i mean See if there's a light that if it goes around. Well, like a bathroom. Doesn't it? <gasps> County Courthouse and Jail. This building was built in 1937. Is there anybody in here? Oh, whisper in our ears. But see, it's like oh. a. See, I only see me. Yeah. yeah. Hey, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. It was about time to hit the road again, and this time we set our sights on our neighboring state in the town of Las Cruces, New Mexico. We were headed for an overnight location we wouldn't soon forget. The Donna Anna County Courthouse and Jail, where we would meet our host, who would explain the many experiences herself and others have had in this very location. Hi, my name is Vicki Hooser. I'm the owner and founder of Out West Paranormal. I've been investigating this building, the Donna Anna County Courthouse and Jail, since about 2017, so about three years now. This building was built in 1937. The building is made out of concrete and steel. A lot of people think it's adobe, but it is concrete and steel. This served as the Doniana County Courthouse up until about 2008, when they moved to a new building across town. The jail annex portion was built on in 1969, and up until 1996, when the new Doniana County Detention Center was built. And then what experiences have you had as far um, as the long time that you've been checking this building out? The uh, experiences that I've had, I filmed a shadow figure. Uh, I was walking in the jail portion. I was walking down a corridor. I turned to my right, and at the end of that corridor, there was a shadow man standing way at the end of the hall. I did not see him at the time. I only discovered it when I went back and reviewed the evidence later. Um, I've heard footsteps. I've heard female voices, children voices, men's voices. Um, it's been reported people being touched. Um, doors have opened and closed on their own. Um, we put a ball up on the second floor where a child was heard asking, can you see me? We put a ball up there to see if the child would move, and the ball, uh, or the child would move the ball, and the ball did actually move. This door right here was captured opening and closing during an investigation. And the interesting thing about this door is that it doesn't stay open. Gotcha. It closes on its own, but it was kind of spring spring, off. Yeah. A couple of years ago, we had some workers down there in this courtyard uh, cleaning and, and uh, chopping weeds and stuff. They sat down for lunch, and the older gentleman looked up here at the window. He saw a face looking back out at him, and he described it as kind of black and whitish, grayish, colorish, uh, white shirt, an older gentleman handlebar mustache and a bow tie. 2011, one of our um, investigators got scratched and we believe that came out of this room right here. And he was taunting and teasing mm. and provoking and he got scratched, got a three inch scratch on the back of his neck. Really? Yeah. Do what? I heard. Right? Could it be the rain? Could be water and all that, but still, it's just. We hear slamming of these metal doors all the time. Hard soled footsteps uh, come out of this area. Yeah, this is like a whole other building. When we went through, there was a door, I don't know where it was yeah. looking at, but I thought I saw shadow moves, that's why I did a double take, like, just kind of looking. It doesn't surprise me, because that door was looking into the main hallway, and that door, this door here, 
you're talking about? Yes. And this area here, is that shadow figure has been seen poking his head out. Continue well, that's out. what it felt like. It felt like there was like a, you know, like if you see like somebody doing this and then yeah. they do that, that's yeah. what I thought I saw. Oh. That's exactly what he does. That's what, yeah, doesn't surprise okay. me. Okay, I just got goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Back in 2017, he came in about the third or fourth time. Right here, about the third or fourth time, there was a huge blood stain right here. You can kind of see remnants of it right here. Mm -hmm. See? See along the wall? See on the door? And that wasn't there? No, it was not there before. We don't know what caused it. We had an investigator come in, determined it was human blood. One of the most interesting things though, and spookiest I guess, was that there was a little footprint right here, about the size of a child. A child's footprint, it was a bloody footprint, but there was no other footprints leading from or coming to this area, just the one. And nobody was in here? Nobody was in here, right. Yeah, that's, that's, I would say that's one of the spookiest things I've ever heard from okay. any place. And you can see, I mean, they had blood all over them because yeah. there was some footprints in the medical hallway of the bars and handprints on the bars and doors, but there was no footprints, bloody footprints leading over there or coming back. So that's the building. It's very impressive. That's enough. <laughs> it's very, it's, it's huge. Like I said, I don't even know. Just thinking, going back real quick, what we did, I'm like, yeah, where do we even start? Where do we begin? But it's uh, That's good. I can see why we probably need the whole night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Time on and downstairs is, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can pretty much gauge where I'm at up here, but downstairs it's like, and in the dark, it's gonna be like, yes. Ooh, you know. So, but yeah, this is exciting. It was at this point we decided to start setting up some of our cameras, but already we started feeling a little off, as we heard various noises in the building. And that's where Justin and I heard that noise. I heard that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what we heard. Dude, this is an ominous looking. Looking stairwell. <laughs> Alright. You got my back, right? Yeah, I got you. Like, this is a very ominous. What's your going on here? Okay, that's the door. That's the door opening yeah. with the wings. So that's probably to the to the roof. Yeah. Yeah, there is. And she talked about blood. I don't know if that's blood or paint. Okay. Yeah, what do you see? Outside. It's, uh, it's just literally like a balcony. This door's open. The access to the roof is wide open. Yeah. Careful. All right. Yeah, the roofs are notorious for being soft. So that's yeah, no, no, I ain't going out there, but. Dude, this door pulled hard on me to shut it. Is that the wind? Like went to shut it and then like, it about literally flew out of my hand. Like pulled towards the like, outside? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not looking at that door because that scares the shit. Believe that I think I may have seen the shit on me. Really? This is a EVP test. There's a, if you look down there, you'll see a black zigzag. Yeah. And then I think it's a door handle. And for some reason, almost with, I think it's a door handle, but it almost looked like it was something, and then it whoop, zipped away. But 
All right, EVP in one of the cells. We're gonna leave this here running for a long time. I'm not sure when we'll come and get it back, but we won't forget you, buddy. I promise. Uh, whoever's in here, any spirits, please, uh, if you have anything to say, come in here, stop by, and let us know. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> yeah, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and comment down below on our videos. This probably won't be used, but if it is, it's good practice. We love you. It is good practice. We're Daniel. He's turning the shadows. He's messing around. Mr. Shadow, give me a dream. Where Dan is going will never be seen. Yeah. Drips, but that's not what I heard. Hello? Knock on, knock if you're there. It was kind of a... Yeah. Clearly coming from like this side. Dude, there's a bunch of old keyboards here and, and mo old uh, computer monitors, fax machines. A DVD of Cool Runnings. All right, so we've had the tour of the facility, and basically we are at this point going to explore the second floor, which is the courthouse and the surrounding rooms, and uh, pretty much see what we get on our uh, EMF detectors and if we hear or sense anything. We've placed this ball here for you to use, and if you could please move the ball for us, uh, we'd love to see that. If you don't want to use the ball, please make a noise or sound or do something else to guide our attention. If you make a big enough movement, the lights will light up on the little plastic box next to it. And now it stopped making movements. It's not blinking anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that earlier, Pac-Man. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh wait, no, there's a, there's a path this way. I don't know about you guys, but I find that there's a grocery cart in here extremely just creepy. I don't know why, I just find it odd. If this thing moves tonight, whew, yeah. Yeah, I totally hear something. It sounds like it's coming from that direction. Is that music? Oh, it's the music, yeah. Okay. Sound like some a lady singing. Yeah, a little bit. I feel, I do feel more of a sense of calm up here than I do yeah, in, the in the prison. The prison definitely gives me the heebie-jeebies, but... Oh, there's the, uh, the courthouse. Yeah. Hey look, hey, look, I just found a fascinating find. Whoa. How many toilets does it take to, to call a plumber? To flush a tootsie yeah. <laughs> Whoa. right here but it's consistent so it has to be a power line or something or raise it or lower it yeah something's right here it is very quiet that's the one thing i feel about this room you come in this room Super quiet. Like, almost like just everything stops. Is there anybody in here that would like to communicate with us?
Can you make a sound or a noise? It's a car. Yeah. Ooh, and I feel like it's super hot right now. Yeah, there's no moving air. So, Mark, this is what we're talking about, or Dan, or whoever it was. Oh, yeah, we did right go here. up here. Yeah. So. All right. I believe she said this was the judge's room. Oh yeah. The great view. Oh yeah. Dang, and this is an old door that just literally opens up to the outside, like, and it's all glass, but. Yeah. I mean. Here you, here you. This guy, completely guilty. Oh wow, I didn't realize this job, so you can look down into the stairs. Oh, you can? Wait, go that way and see if there's a light that, if it goes around. Does it? <gasps> okay. I can't open the door. No. I can't open the door. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Open. Close the door. Open the door. Oh God. Okay. Uh. One more time. Hold on. Yeah. There's no other way out of here. That was weird. Is it? It's dark in there, isn't it? It's very dark. That wasn't you guys. Messin? Look at that eating grin. You suck. You're, you're trying to... I wasn't playing nothing. The door didn't close at I didn't close anything. I thought you guys closed it. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, is it, it's not locked. You, so you were holding the door shut. I give up. <laughs> so here is a map or schematic of all of the old building plans for this courthouse. And one of them says insane room, I'm pretty sure. It's the, it would be the third, I think third floor, right? Health department, unexcavated boiler room. Custodian. Oh, here it is. Insane. What floor? It's the one with the future cell block and the. This is the third floor, I think. This is the bottom right. Four? Oh, third floor plan. Yep. Is there anyone in here? Uh, you can hear a bunch of splattering from the rain still from this room because of all the water. It's gotta be yeah. these rooms. Because these are actually oh, shells. Sh so it would be these rooms? Yeah. So yeah, that is one of the scratch rooms. So these are the insane rooms right here. I, I believe so. Potentially, it used to be. Is there anyone that wants to make their presence known? We just want to talk and know if you're in here with us. Can you make a sound or knock to let us know that you're here and listening?
If there's anyone in this building right now watching us, can you let us know? We'd like to communicate with you. Did you hear that? Music. No, it was like a noise to the right. I don't know if it was water. Can you make a noise or a knock or tell us something? We'd love to know your presence is here. We hear there's a lady spirit that dwells in this place. I felt like I was like, I was like, I don't know, I just felt like I was stuck staring at that window. And then I couldn't take my eyes off it. Anything on the meter? Nothing in the meter, but did you just hear that? Is that you? You're trying to communicate? No, it sounded like something like a, a moan or a scream or a, in the distance. The thing about the water is it's scary because sometimes I hear water and then I swear I hear like talking behind the water. But you, you there, hear that up. yeah. Nice thing here. <sighs> Las Cruces. A sense of normalcy coming outside from in there. Nice reprieve. Yeah. Uh, it's good to know our uh, exits. <laughs> yeah. Listening. Is there anybody in here? Can you open one of these cell doors? Can you make a noise? Well, one of them looked locked, like I said, and it didn't, and it actually did open. It was, I don't know, I'm just trying to remember. Oh, it's this one. Remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, it was a really cold, cool spot right here. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah. I can feel the cold air rushing. This wasn't the medical room, was No, it? this is the call room, I think. Where the prisoners would meet up with the call. Well, yeah, to have a phone call. Yeah, there's phones. So they sit here and they talk to you. No. They don't work. This is the sheriff's department. Oh, yeah. That's right. Train. Ah, oh, train. That's the first time in the entire night I heard that. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this is weird. It's like a window to nothing. Or a window, or... Yeah, I can't tell. 
Is that outside? Mark, come here. Oh, the Mark's going to the other uh. side. Is that a Tron? Disc of Tron? Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh. It's the whole God. arcade machine. And it's like saran wrap. Yeah, that it looks brand freaking new. Wow. Probably wow, look. Normal. Look. The stick and everything. Oh my God. Wow, look, dude. There's a whole other area over here. Dude, this place is massive. Like, we didn't even see this part. Mark, come up here with me. Yeah. I don't know. Like animals or no, I don't see food. Oh, that's the window right there that I was seeing through the wall. But it's like they sealed it off. Was that a, uh, a shooting practice thing? It says no one's really investigated the sheriff's office before. What is this? Just an empty. Oh wow, super cold all of a sudden. Okay, when I opened it, I felt a cold blast come out, but there's nothing. There, there's you let nothing. Out the cold out. I, maybe. Is that a spirit you let out of the closet? And look, here's, a, here's the window level right here. I used all the windows I saw from the outside that was shattered. Yeah. So this looks like where you'd come up to the people that worked in the office and said, hey, I need a, you know, I need, I need to file a, you know, yeah. something for court or I need to sign out of jail or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. ah. All the wires. These would make perfect COVID shields, except for the big hole in them. Yeah. All right, I guess we gotta work our way back around, but this is cool. It was like a cool little section we didn't even know. And again, I mean, it just goes to show you how big this building is. What's that? There's a door, or if you walk on one side of the bars, you kind of hit like a dead end. Oh, yeah, I see. I don't know if that's open or not. Yeah, I'll go this way. This is like the Gila prison, and all the doors are controlled that one way. Yeah. 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 Like splattered up on the roof? Yeah. But see, it's like oh. a. What? It sounded like a footstep. I don't know if it was your footstep, but it sounded like a footstep maybe on the other side of this, the wall. But it could have been just a an echo or something. I don't know. I just heard a. Like oh, a, it scared you. Yeah. It sounded like somebody was just walking right over here. This whole place is flooded. Oh yeah, here's all the bugs. I don't think we looked in here with the bugs, did we? I don't we think. Walked, we did walk through here with her. Oh, yeah, really, really, her. really quickly. Toothbrush, you don't want a toothbrush? Is there anyone that wants to communicate? Make their presence known? We just want to talk. We're just here to talk and, and and be friendly. We don't mean any harm. Yeah, this thing doesn't even move. Like she was saying the story about how this moved on somebody, but it's locked. It doesn't even move. So. Well, it's just it's it's in there dead set. She said that some people like got some sort of reaction out of here. What do you think some of these cards? Oh, oh, well, you imagine that. Uh, massive spike. When you said cards. Cards, yeah, it says the nine diamonds and the queen of clubs. Oh, let's see what that happened. Is there anybody in here with us right now?
get in trouble with the guards, so he whisper in our ears. Or if you want to take a shower, can you open one of those shower doors for us? Or do you want to go back into your cell? Like, as I thought, you know, like a storm would be cool, but I had no idea how drippy it would be inside the building. No. I just feel still like in this area, this whole place, I just feel, I feel lost. Like literally legit lost, I don't know. I still don't feel like I know my way around here at all. You want to see if there's any mess spikes down that way? I don't really feel comfortable going in there. It like just looking in there makes me feel... Because there might be something in there? I don't know. I just don't like how it feels very claustrophobic to me. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Go for it. This must be out of the water. The yeah. It's like a weird oh, pyramid. the plumbing. It's a weird pyramid right here. Yeah. Weird cage pyramid. I guess it's something to cover a, a thing. Definitely smells like metallic yeah. smell in there. The pyramids on the floor, or a drawing, yeah. or what? It, a cement. Yeah. Now close the door. Okay, I'll close it. All right. There's no latch. There's no latch. Huh. Like an electronic beep. Something's ringing. Or water falling on something, but I thought I heard a step back this way. A footstep. Like a. I think it's, yeah, I think it's water dripping on one of these metal pipes. Yeah, I know. It's in here. It's something's gotta be dripping on the metal pipes. Oh god, don't say that. Do you want to sing with us? Can you sing too? 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 Hello? Oh, look at all that graffiti. Holy cow. Oh wow, that's a really good one, that clown one. Um, oh, this was the natural area. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it stinks. It stinks. Oh, yeah. Oh. It didn't smell like this before, did it? I don't remember. It no. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. So this is, look. Is this kind of like a double-sided window? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. No, I can see you, but I can still see. Well, I see more reflection, but oh shit! No, I see you guys. I can barely see you. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Hmm, I don't know then. It didn't look like my arm was waving, but I don't know, now when I look at it, it doesn't look as... But 
But when I saw it in that moment, it looked like my arm was still up while I put my arm back. Yeah, maybe. I mean, who knows? It freaked you out, so. Yeah, I was like, oh, Well, I don't think I've heard you back say anything like that before, so I know whatever you felt or thought you saw, you just, you thought hey. you saw. Did anybody say lady? I thought I heard someone go, lady. Probably, actually. Go, Dan. Go, Dan. This is Resident Evil. This is where, like, the plant boss would be. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Definitely, I don't know, some water dropped on it or, or what, but. All right, well now we're gonna go down into the basement. Um, she actually unlocked this for us right before we, uh, she left actually, so we haven't even been down here. She said it's small, but we're just gonna check it out, see if we get any readings down here. So it's really dusty, and it makes me think, yeah, that nobody hardly comes down here. Cockroaches everywhere. Sound of something. It's like gas. Maybe there's gas going through a tube. It stinks down here. There are roaches everywhere. What's in this door? When you turn the corner here, is this the secret of or the, the secret of Narnia? Oh sh! Yeah. Oh, there's your challenge. I'll come through the. Oh yeah, it was just a. That's creepy. Oh, Fallout geez. shelter. Whew. Hello. Anyone else down here with us? It's cold all of a sudden. Yeah, well, this is a cold room. Oh, wow, yeah. Very cold in comparison. Hello? Is there anybody in here? Can we get a flash photography in here? Sure. Yeah, there must be an air draft coming through because it's cold. I do feel like we're almost like urban explorers sometimes yeah. you know, in some of these videos, which is cool. Alright, ready? Oh, Totally sounded like I heard a footstep over there. Well, when you stepped off of the, the metal plate there, take one step back. Was that what you heard? No, no, it was. It was like that. You might take a. You might want to take a picture down and actually. 
Because some of I mean, this is like a, a worker tunnel. Oh, yeah. Like somebody had to crawl down there. Yeah. To wire things. No, mad respect to whoever does that. It then became time where we would go back to home base and each of us would go alone with our night vision camera to see what we experience by ourselves. While Mark and Daniel returned with little events, myself in the courtroom felt a peculiar sense of unease, like I was being watched so much that I ran out of the room in panic and in doing so fell down a flight of stairs. This bashed the camera and we almost lost all the footage. Some of it was able to be recovered. Now we did have audio running in that room, so what you can't see when the video gets corrupted, you can hear. Anybody in here? I just thought I heard something coming from the back office and I was like right up close listening a lot and then and then I turned around and and uh yeah the camera's just I it's jacked up and uh I heard something and then it was quiet and then I don't know I just felt weird and I felt like all my hairs raise up and I felt goosebumpy and so then I heard you guys say because I said something and then I heard you right as I was I was like leaving. I was like no no no, no. and I started running and then I heard you guys say something and I didn't I didn't even answer because you know I thought actually at first I couldn't tell if that was you or it sounded like a motorcycle. Like, like, no, 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 no. But that was you going no 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 no. Is that what you? I said? think so. And that would conclude our investigation at the Donna Anna County Courthouse and Jail, a night filled with many unexplained occurrences in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and one that will leave us with many memories along our paranormal journey. Now Project Paranormal AZ would like to thank Vicky for her time and allowing us to visit this amazing location. If you'd like to experience your own paranormal night in this spot, be sure to check out the link in the description below. No gear is needed and they can provide you a one-of-a-kind tour experience. We'd also like to thank all our subscribers and those who bought some of our merchandise. This episode was fully funded by the purchases and contributions. If you'd like to continue to support the show, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe or follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube pages as it helps us a lot and helps us to continue doing more of these episodes. And remember, stay paranormal.